What's up guys? How you doing today? I hope you're having a great Friday. The weekend is here. If you're in America, it's 4th of July this weekend, so maybe you get a three day. That would be awesome. I know I do, and I am looking forward to it. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's quick Vim tip of the day. Um, now, this isn't so much a tip as it is me trying to kind of show two sides of a discussion. And that discussion would be this. If you look at my Xmonad config right here, um, nothing special about the configuration file. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I want to look at is right here. We have line numbers. Now, these right now are the standard line numbers. And what else we can have is we can do set relative number. So now we have relative line numbers. Now what relative line numbers are, as you can see, is whatever line your cursor's on is the correct line. So this is line 13. That's where my cursor is, but everything is counted off of that. So that way, you know, if you're on line 13 and you want to go to this base section, um, uh, all you have to do is go up nine lines, or if you want to go down to the data section, all you got to do is go down seven lines. So say you wanted to go to the data section, all you'd have to do is go seven and press uh, J and you're gonna go down. And say now you wanted to go up to the prompt section, you could go up 10 and press K and you're up in the prompt section. So people seem to think it's a lot more efficient and easy to look at these relative line numbers and go, okay, all I have to do is go up or down X amount of lines to get to the line I want. So then I just press that number and jump. That is kind of the argument for relative line numbers. And it's a great argument for relative line numbers. I normally use relative line numbers um, mainly because I think they look cool. But other than that, they are kind of helpful. Uh, are they more efficient? No. And let me show you why. Um, you might already know this. And so you're probably going to click this video off at this point. But whatever. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to no relative line numbers. Now we're back on standard line numbers. And so say, we're, again, we are on that same, we're on uh, this data section here. And we want to go up to uh, base. Well, you can see we're on line 20 and base is on line 4. So you might be thinking, well, you just got to do the math. 20 minus 4, I got to go up 16 lines. So we're going to do um, 16 and then K, and we're gonna go up. Well, yeah, that's one way to do it, but here's the deal. That math is inefficient. Um, it might be easy math, but what happens when you get into hundreds and hundreds of lines um, and you have you know, a bigger, bigger number you gotta deal with? Um, not efficient. Well, here's the deal. You don't have to use math to move around with regular line numbers. It is pretty, pretty simple. All you gotta do is, okay, we're on here, we're here on line uh, four. So say we wanna jump down here to line 28 for the utilities. Well, you might say, Jake, you gotta take 28, subtract four, then you get your number, and then you move down. So that'd be uh, 24 lines, and then jump. Well, yeah, that's one way, but you know how long that's gonna take? You know, you gotta do your math, figure out the problem, and then go. Now, yeah, it's only gonna be seconds with small numbers, but there's another way to do this. And what that is, is, okay, we're on line four, we wanna go to line 28, why don't we just press 28 and then capital G? And look at that, we're right there. No need to do math, no need to do nothing. Oh, we wanna go up to uh, the line that has prompt on it now? Well, that's on line 10, so we're just gonna press 10, capital G, and that's gonna take me right there. So, as you can see, relative line numbers are cool looking, and yes, they can be a little more um, efficient for some people, but until you understand that you don't have to do math and you don't have to do all this stuff, and if you could understand movement and Vim, um, you can realize that relative line numbers, regular line numbers, doesn't matter. Efficiency is on you and not the type of system you're using. So. The argument between relative line numbers and standard line numbers in Vim is kind of a moot point because you know what? They're both efficient as hell because Vim is an amazing, amazing tool. So I hope you like this video. I hope that uh, you can actually get some use out of that. And if you didn't know that already, now you know. And as G.I. Joe said, knowing is half the battle. <laughs> so that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.